Well, I tell you, Johnson, this is going to be a show that takes the cake. <laughs> well, let's let's do it. Patty cake, patty, patty cake, cake, baker's bad. Make it. Uh, yeah. that. Anyway, <laughs> this is our cake show, in case you haven't been able to figure that out. And I'm Ralph Johnson, and this is Herman Bly. <laughs> yeah, my, my Larry's older brother. Uh -huh. <laughs> His good-looking brother. Yes. <laughs> We are. We're going to make cakes. What kind of cake are you making? I'm making an applesauce cake. Lord, I thought those things took days to make. Well, not the way this recipe came out. <laughs> Our family recipe, though, does. Yeah, it I know. It takes forever. The, Tootsie, well, she I can't plays even, with that stuff for uh, two or three days. I can't even find my mother's applesauce cake recipe. That was wonderful. She and told me she had hidden it from I, I made this one up uh, from a couple that I had run across recently, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We'll see. Well, I'm going to do a fudge brownie cake. Mm -hmm. I can tell this is going to be one of those shows mm -hmm. where the staff mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. sticks around. Uh, oh, that sounds good. The goodies afterwards. The Dear, mail has been pouring in. Yeah. Dear fellers, that's what it says, mm -hmm. fellers, when I long ago sent you my recipe for chicken liver soup, I never dreamed to be immortalized in reruns. What a way to go. <laughs> <laughs> we feel the same way. Uh, Howsomever, I often see the two of you struggling with the task of peeling hard-boiled eggs. And since I really have this problem, allow me to pass along a couple of tips for your consideration. Place eggs in pan not much larger than the bulk of the eggs themselves, barely covered with cold water. Cover with lid, bring to a boil, a boil for two minutes, and then turn the heat off, let these, let them set covered for 10 to 20 minutes. Seemed to me like that would sort of mm -hmm. <laughs> reboil more hard. Anyway, secret to a perfectly peeled egg is to run water of the opposite temperature. Oh, oh okay, over the eggs and before peeling. So then you would put yeah. it under cold water. You know our friend Bill Solari from the egg farm around here mm -hmm. told us th th this is the man that grows thousands upon thousands of eggs every week. He says that the eggs that you buy in the supermarket today are generally speaking so fresh that it is very hard to peel. You have to let them go for a, a, about a week before you can really uh, yeah. count on them being and easy to peel. All us country folks used to say they had to be at least three days old right. to be peelable. And he's right. Uh, the eggs are getting fresher and fresher all the time, so the eggs you get in today's supermarket, maybe yesterday's eggs. And talking about eggs, you know, here on PBS we have all those nature shows, <laughs> and I was watching last oh. night one of them, uh -huh. and an ostrich laid an egg. Right on television. Right on TV, and I want to tell you, it was, uh, I turned my stomach completely, I wasn't right for several hours. <laughs> That was from Brenda Salyers. No, no, Pound Brenda Virginia. Didn't lay the egg. <laughs> <laughs> Dear uh, Laban and Larry, I watch your show every week. I just love it. I saw Laban in a local supermarket, and I spoke to him. He was so very nice, just like a real person. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that boy. That was from Joyce Carr. Well, Joyce, yes, I am real. Man, I'm so real. Ooh, ooh. Try and, it sometime. And you will see him in there because that's where he lives when he's not down here. I love Dear boys, I watch the show every Saturday. like it very much. You guys are very funny. Hope to keep on doing the show for many more years. Ashley Church, P.S. I'm eight years old. That's very pretty. From Ashley's from Roanoke, Virginia. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Thank you. And here's a letter that says, a few weeks ago I sent for the copy of show number 805 and got the baked pumpkin and pumpkin cookies, but I didn't get the instructions for the pumpkin seeds. Oh, no. Well, honey, we didn't offer those, but I'll tell you, all you do is put them in the oven for a little while, and when they get toasty, you take them out. Then you can put a little butter on them and sprinkle season to salt. I mean, there's nothing to it. Just go on and do it. Be brave. Oh boy, here's one of these. Uh, this is an interesting, this is a frisky letter. This is a frisky one from Northern Virginia. This is up in, uh, oh, Arlington, Virginia. Dear Laban and Larry, I wrote to you last summer about the fact that your program was not on our WNVC, Channel 56. You were kind enough to answer my letter July 31. I've looked forward to your cooking cheap program ever since, and I assure, well, because we are loaded with foreign uh, cooking shows, Italian, Asian, Korean, but we haven't seen you boys. They take you boys away from me. I talked to, and he goes, goes at, who's oh. talked to? I better not give the names on the air, although we will be giving the address and home phone numbers at the end of the program. <laughs> and uh, anyway, says I've enclosed the newspaper list. You see what has happened. Uh, I am so fed up with the, uh, oh, I better not get into this. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> with these foreign cooking shows, <laughs> essentially, is uh, what is being said here. And it's time to bring back the old country boys, is what she's saying. And I'm not even going to finish that. Right. But anyway, we'll get ourselves in big trouble for sure. But that's from our good friends. You know, those people in Arlington do have a problem uh, catching us up there. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Frances Ellis, I believe that is from Arlington, Virginia. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. And you keep riding your local station. They'll put it back on. Yeah, if they heard well, this. Well, what am I talking to her about? <laughs> that's right. That's well, if dumb. they take us off, call and complain. That's what you have to do. Yes. And then this uh, lady wrote in and said that she just says, I don't care what anybody says about you two laughing and cutting up. I think it helps the show a lot and keep up the good work. That's right. Well, how about that? Listen, I got a long recipe. Oh, I you do? Well, go here. ahead. Mine's short. Mine goes forever and ever and ever. And, and ever. Day. Uh, I'm, I'm boiling some water. Oh, well, that's always encouraging. Is somebody going to have a baby? After you talk oh, about shh. Somebody is, but we'll tell about that later oh, on. Oh, yeah, yeah. After you talk about the ostrich egg. I've got to start <laughs> one uh, cup of water. This is a brownie cake sent in by an unknown viewer. Well, how could you get a brownie among, to stand still long enough to grind up and put it in a cake? Among my favorite, the unknown viewer. Uh, we're going to, well, never mind. All right, there, there's a cup of water in there. I've got to bring that to boil with a cup of shortening. Mama loves shortening. Do you know that? Mama loves a shortening. <laughs> and I have some shortening here. I've got this butterized Mama stuff. Have you ever tried this, Laban? This butter like yeah. stuff. Is it uh, good? Yeah, I find it to be all right. How do I figure out what's a cup? I can't get it to go well. in there. I hate to say this, but I'm already off to a roaring stop here. Is that a cup? Is two well, of these yeah, a cup? One of them is a cup. One of them's a cup. Mm -hmm. Well, it's half empty on one side. I can't get it to go in there. And once <laughs> I get it in there, how will I ever get it out? Well, one of these. You Just put have thought one about of these that in. before you started. This is the biggest mess already. Just put one spoonful in there. And forget that mess. Put that well, over there. That's probably not quite a cup, but close. I'd put a little more. There. <laughs> it smells like butter. Looks like butter. It smells like popcorn, doesn't it? Uh huh. All right. Now what else? Looks like tomatoes. No. Uh, you bring water tomatoes. shortening and margarine and coca to a boil. Water shortening, what have I put in there? Water you shortening. Put shortening in there. Oh, margarine, okay. Margarine. Stick of margarine. I did this recipe yesterday, but you can't tell, can you? I bet you can't. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make makings for a cake. You need to be uh, heating your oven up to 350 degrees right now. So it'll be good and hot and ready when we get this mess put together. All right, that goes in there. What else goes in there? Shortening. <laughs> Margarine, coca, oh, the coca. All right. Now we need. Is that Imogene? Imogene coca. We need four <laughs> tablespoons of coca, and you're going to bring all that to a boil. Imogene. I swear. This show gets sillier by the day. Well, you remember her. For the, I do remember she With was. Sydney a, Caesar. Yeah. One. I never could figure out why they designed these things <laughs> quite like they did. Two. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if you could just see this stove, he has gotten coca powder all over the stove. Three. Don't favor nobody. Four. All right. Now bring that to a boil. That's the first thing you got to do. And uh, I'm going to start putting the, together some right. materials for the, the cake, the rest of the cake, and I'll tell you about that in a minute right now, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I have a bowl. I'm going to make this fine applesauce, sour cream al applesauce cake. One cup of sugar and a half a cup of applesauce. Now, this is an eight ounce can of applesauce, but I'm going to put in the whole thing because when I made it yesterday, I was very dissatisfied, as you will see in a little bit, because I thought it was just a little too dry. It, didn't, it wasn't moist enough, so I'm going to use all of the applesauce. Ooh, this smells good. And so I'm going to mix this sugar and this applesauce wow. and half a cup of sour cream into it. And here's my sour cream. Oh, look, it's Larry. It's sealed for your protection. <laughs> Lord, they've even started sealing up the sour cream. I swear there's no end to it. All of you people out there that have poisoned people, you are just making the rest of us suffer. And if we ever get you, you're going to be lynched. 
And that's a promise. Well, don't hold right back, Right here on Johnson. TV, we'll lynch you. I'm tired of this stuff. Don't hold back, Johnson. I'm just glad I don't have arthritis like some of my friends do. Because if I had arthritis, I wouldn't be able to enjoy this recipe. Well, for heaven's sake, well, see, it does true. go well, you couldn't on get into a lot, it. doesn't it, today? This new safety packaging is so hard to get what into. What the world got in your crawl? Plastic. That's what it was. Now, all of this... See, I'm not going to use the <laughs> mixer today because Larry probably is going to need it over there. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's more healthful for me to do it this way. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, it is. This now, stuff this, is boiling. I'm going to pull it off. It doesn't need to do any more than boil. Well, go right ahead. All right. And uh, I've done it. Well, go. you can go on to the next part. Oh, I'm okay. Afraid. Two and cups, meanwhile, over in a big container, you need two cups of flour. I'm just having a terrible time figuring this all out today. For some, my brain has just gone totally... Brain death is a horrible thing in a person. It's going down age. on me again. Now, let's see. Flour and sugar. How much sugar, Larry? Yes, the amount of sugar, Larry, is... I can answer that question in two more minutes. Two cups of sugar. Well, that should have been easy enough to remember. Why, any fool could have remembered that. But we're, I'm, I'm not just any fool. I'm a special fool for this program. I forgot to get the sugar out. Where's the sugar? John, you got some sugar? Right over there. <laughs> some sugar. Excuse no, me. No, right over here Excuse behind me, folks, you. That's I, the flour. Oh, that's Put the it flour. down there. It's the Excuse sugar. Excuse me, I need to get the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be one of those already, I can tell. Two cups of that. Now, where's my cup? There it is. There's my cup. Where's the flour? There it is. One, two. You can have that back. You need it? I don't want it. Oh. All right. Now let's uh, combine the flour and the sugar. Where's my spoon? All right. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be, be disorganized. I did this yesterday afternoon, and it didn't go much better than it did today. <laughs> be quite honest with you. But there weren't as many people watching me. Now what we got to do is we got to take this water shortening margarine coca combination and we got to add that to the flour and sugar mixture. And here we go. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Yes, it looks delicious. Say it like you mean it, Johnson. Yes, it looks delicious. Now we're going to mix that up a little bit. And to that we're going to add three eggs, some baking soda, buttermilk, and we're going to prepare it and we're going to prepare it. We're going to pour it into a prepared pan. I'm going to take a mixture to it here in a minute, make sure I got it where it needs to be. Oh, me. Okay, how many eggs? Two eggs. I got to add two eggs in there. I'm sure glad the egg lady didn't come by here today. She wore me out the other day. I think well. I should explain that now. <laughs> Being that everyone's cackling well, and giggling. Well, I just want to know just exactly how she did go about wearing you completely out there. Yeah, she mm -hmm. came by and yeah, talked yeah, about yeah, eggs for 20 that. minutes. <laughs> oh. She did. Get in there. These eggs don't want to get mixed in here with us. Eggs don't want to get mixed up with us. <laughs> All right, that's the egg. How much? Uh, we got a little a teaspoon of baking soda. Teaspoon. I don't have a teaspoon. Well, okay. All right. Can I add some things over here? Oh, right? go right All on right. ahead. I'm liable to be doing this okay. for a week. All right. Now, I've got two cups of flour in my sifter, and I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt. In your sifter. <laughs> and a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's about all i got left in this bottle. And oh, a teaspoon of baking powder. Uh, let's see, and this is fresh baking powder. That's a teaspoon there. I want to go home. home. I want to go home. And a half a teaspoon of soda. Oh, Lord. That's a half a teaspoon of soda. And a quarter teaspoon of highly expensive clothes. Last night I went to sleep in Detroit City. And how did you get back here? <laughs> oh, I got too much clothes in it, but that's all right. It'll be good. It'll numb your teeth. And with your teeth rot out from eating all this sweet stuff, it won't bother you. Now, I'm just going to sift this down into, this is maybe the worst flour sifter I've ever seen. 
This looks like a big pea bag string. Can I do one quick thing here sure, while you're doing just that? Go ahead. I'm just I need to flour. add a half a cup of uh, buttermilk to this mix. Buttermilk. Meanwhile, I have oiled, I have greased a pan. It says grease. It does not say grease and uh, and flour. What do you suppose that means, Johnson? Oh, I don't know. Is that good or bad? What, grease? No, I, I don't think you have to necessarily flour it. All right, I did yesterday just to be sure. Now, there we are, we're putting that buttermilk in there. A couple of minutes, we're gonna make a nice thick icing for this. And I'm gonna start that right now because we're getting down on time here. Let me, let me, let me, let me what? Let me get rid of those. I need those in a minute. Excuse me. Oh, I'm just sifting away here. There, it's good as new. They're clean. Little problem keeping up to me, Jim? He's getting better. Uh, okay, now I've greased this thing up a little bit. You can grease it in flour, it doesn't matter. Now what you do is take this mixture and you pour this in there. Using a little bit larger pan than that, please. I didn't have a larger one, otherwise I'd be using it. Now, here's what we do now. You put that in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And while it's baking, because you're gonna have to put this stuff on while it's hot, so that it'll get all nice and creamy and goopy and go over all of it, you gotta make up the icing. And the icing starts out with an entire bag of confectioner sugar. Looks like a box. A box, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get smart with me. And as you can see, that bowl is just too little. <laughs> I'll be back. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to add a cup of nuts and a half and a cup of raisins to this oh. mixture here. Oh boy! So here, here are my nuts going in, and here are the raisins. <laughs> Gosh, these raisins are all stuck together. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I dropped something on the floor. I believe it was my contact. Okay, uh, four tablespoons of coca to go in here. One, two, three, four. That's close enough for me. A half a cup of melted margarine. Oh, dear, good Lord, I was supposed to be melting margarine. I forgot. Oh, Jesus, this is terrible. Turn that back on. Well, I... I hope that's a Excuse cup me. of raisins in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh. folks. I, <laughs> I know you are. You're just, just been one of those toe days. up over it. <laughs> <laughs> what else goes in here? A teaspoon of vanilla goes in there. And I could hear Maureen and David laughing in the back, not to mention Carol. A teaspoon of vanilla. I can't see. All right. A teaspoon of vanilla. Is that what that is? Yeah. Six tablespoons of milk. Now, this is a really strange recipe. Six tablespoons of milk. Have you ever heard tell of such a thing? Never in my born days. <sighs> One. Oh, dear, good Lord. Two. Three. Four. How many? Five. Five. Minutes or tablespoons? Yeah, Six. Both. both. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, I got that margarine melting. That's a whole stick of margarine I'm trying to melt real quick, and then we're gonna mix all that up. Now that's gonna go on top of that. Now I'll show that to you in a minute. Also, have brought in some home cracked walnuts. I had just some left over. Home cracked? Yes, indeed, I brought those in. So, <coughs> go ahead, Johnson, it's back to you until my margarine melts. Oh, wow, the margarine melts. That used to be on CBS. Well, I put the batter in, and you use a bread pan for this batter, and there it is. And you bake it at 350 degrees for an hour. And when it's done, it just comes out gorgeous. And that's the recipe. Back to you, Larry. Well, I'm still <laughs> back here waiting for my margarine to melt. Let's look at these recipes while we're waiting around for margarine to melt. The brownie cake, two cups of flour, cup of water, cup of shortening, two eggs, tablespoon, teaspoon, pardon me, of baking soda, and two cups of sugar half a cup of margarine, four tablespoons of coca, and a half cup of buttermilk. The icing, a box of powdered uh, sugar, four tablespoons of coca, a half a cup of melted margarine, a cup of chopped nuts, a teaspoon of vanilla, and six tablespoons full of milk. And for the sour cream, oh, and look, they got the misprint in it. It's sour cream applesauce cake. 
half half a cup of sour cream, a cup of sugar, half a cup of applesauce, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, two cups of flour, and a, a teaspoon of baking powder. I know I typed it wrong on your copy. A half teaspoon baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of cloves, a half uh, one cup of raisins, and one cup of chopped nuts, and that's it, folks. Okay, I what have just, list. I'm finishing up, even as we speak, the icing. This stuff is really good, too. I'm telling you, look at that, and that's creamy and good. Now, here's what you do, mm -hmm. as soon as you do all that there. Then you take some chopped nuts, plunk, and put those in there, all right? Yeah. And mix that in real good, all around. And then what you do, when the cake comes out, oh, the, the uh, oven, 30 minutes hence, you will take this and spread this across the top of the cake while it's warm. And when you do that, the effect that it has is that it goes across the entire surface of the cake and gets real pretty like that. Look at it picking up the highlights of the wonderful clay glass yes, over that here. Yes, that beautiful? is lovely. It really is. So anyway, that's what it's. Uh, that's what it looks like when it's all done. Well, good. Let's go over here and have <sighs> some of it. I thought I was never going to live to get this far. <laughs> anyway, well, Lord, look at this. Someone's tried to murder this cake. <laughs> it's terrible. Someone feels right badly toward it. Uh huh. Oh boy, this thing's got nuts all over it. <sighs> Look at that. Mmm, mamma mia. Oh, it smells good. Well, John said, throw it at me. <laughs> this is a very, I'm telling you, this other one that I made. Is today, that a little I'm, crusty, maybe? I would say just a little. <laughs> <laughs> where is that? Ah! Where is that hatchet when you need Johnson? What? like an applesauce cracker cake. <laughs> it's an applesauce brick, is what it is. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Several people were injured. When I just think the recipe isn't right. If no, you can fix wrong. this recipe, let us know. It's not wrong. It's real tasty, but I'm going to tell you, bring some extra teeth. Well, let's try this mess. It smells good. Oh, look, it came apart in my hand. Well, that means it's light and frothy, the way it's supposed to be. Mmm. It's got a real good flavor to it. It does. Mmm. Not bad. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Mm. Yeah. Well, hey. I like it a lot. So do I. Thank goodbye you and goodbye. Bye and so long.